welcome back to my channel. Back with Craigie today again. Hello. But don't worry, we've got a less active video. But you're still recovering. So we're back today with another um, snack surprise box. And this month, we are trying foods from the Netherlands. Woohoo! Mm. And as you might have saw, we have like back in March before lockdown and all happened, we had actually been over in Amsterdam and me and Craig love to try different yeah. foods. But actually surprisingly, the food that is here, we only tried like a couple of things. Yeah, there's only a couple of brands I recognize. We'll start trying the food because I'm hungry. Okay, so we're gonna start with trying a drink first. This is called a uh, cherry bouquet. We're not actually gonna look at the descriptions this time until we've tried it, just till we Kind of get a feel of it first. Yeah, Fernandez cherry bouquet. Looks like this, just kind of like a cherry drink. Cheers, mate. Oh, it tastes like um, like the kind of drinks you get at like a school party. Wouldn't be my choice of drink. Now let's see what this says. This is a sweet and sparkly cherry soft drink that is a popular treat throughout the Netherlands. It's not bad. What are you eating it? Uh, like five, I guess. I don't know how much sugar is in it. Yeah, I'd say five too. Next up, we're going to try uh, these bad boys. It's a mini hamkas. Oh, wow, they have some cheese there. Oh, they smell good. Where does he fly? Go away. Mmm, go ahead. Mmm. It tastes like smoked cheese. Mm hmm. And we love the cheese in Holland. Yeah, I'm that good. So these are brittle potato crisps with the taste combination of ham and cheese. Oh. Oh, ham and cheese. Oh, I get it now. Yep, yeah. They're made from the best corn and quality wheat. Yeah, they're lovely. I'd say mm, yeah. 7 out of 10. Actually, I like this. Next up, we have these little guys. And to me, they just look like sour wine gums. After that sour challenge, I feel like I can handle it. Mm -hmm. They're so good. If you didn't know, I love sweeties. Mm. So these are yeah. wine gums with two colours, flavours in each piece. Half of each piece is sweet and the other half is sour. Oh. There's a sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. I rate those a 9 out of 10. I'm a big fan of sour stuff, so I'd say 7. Okay, next up we're going in with some chocolate called Bros. Oh my gosh, I'm going to guess, this is like Arrow, right? The bubbles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of cute that they're in little small packets. This mean? is Arrow, look at it. Seems like an Arrow. Yep, you right. Mmm. So this is delicious chocolate with unique airy bubbles. Enjoy the surprisingly full taste of chocolate and the airy melt ice in its session. It's made by Nestle, so it's probably just the Dutch version of Aero. A good yeah, seven. Fun. Yeah, it's fine. So far you can see that there's kind of similarities with our food and ours. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go in with these guys next. What does it say? Boral Nudgets. Cool. These remind me, do you guys remember in the UK you used to get knobbly nuts? Oh, Nobby's nuts, do you mean? <laughs> Nobby's nuts, yeah. Okay, well they literally do look like hot nuts you'd get from the cinema. Yeah, but look cinema. at that. It's like little pieces. Oh, yeah. I think these ones have been uh, kicked around the uh, Royal Mail warehouse. So these are crunchy peanuts, each with their own taste, so that together they have a familiar cocktail taste. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> So that together they have a familiar cocktail taste. It's funny, I took a handful and it tasted different than the one I tried at the start. Really, and they are different colours. If you look, there's like... Does it mean like... When it says darker a ones, lighter ones... When it says it. cocktail, it doesn't mean like an actual like alcoholic cocktail. Because like, if you give me a cocktail that tastes like peanuts, I'll throw it in your face. Yeah, it tastes like the nuts you get in the cinema. What do you mean it? Eight. Yeah, eight for me. So next up is this. And it's called a uh, Pijinieberg. Pijinieberg? Yeah, what is it? Well, it like, feels like a kick. Oh, let's just take it, let's just see. Could be a secret little brownie. <laughs> I don't think that would get it. Oh, 
get through that. Oh, wow. Get through the airport security. Oh, oh, God. What is this? Break it in half. You're going to hit this. I'm just going to put just it like that. Break it in half and I'll see. Okay, it looks like this, guys. I'll just take a bite then because I don't want the smell to put me off if you think I don't like it. Okay. Oh, no, it's ginger, isn't it? Let's check what this is. I oh. think it may have butter or something on oh, it. Oh, my God. Okay. So this is a oh, yuck. deliciously tender gingerbread oh. with a surprisingly delicious taste. Oh. It's appeared on breakfast tables for more than 130 years in the Netherlands. I feel it needs toasted, some butter, and then I would read it. Oh. It's very dry. Why did they not bring us any butter, for God's sake? I'm going to read it a six, no, a five. So maybe it is normally buttered. I'd say it is. It's very dry. Okay, well. What did you eat? Let's forget about that. I didn't. Oh, write, I didn't write it. This is not fair. Now we have hoppages, hoppages, little. They look like they're little sweets. Mm. I don't know what they'll be. What these are. Open. I say it says coffee. Candy. Don't read it. What's this on the packaging? Oh, you've ruined it. It's kind of like a Werther that's coffee flavored. They're called hoppages. Sorry if I'm saying this wrong. Do you need a crunch salad? Just read the bloody thing, would you? Named after Baron Hendrik Hop, a noted coffee lover, these old Dutch sweets have a pleasant coffee mm. taste with a touch of caramel. They are delicious. They're really yes. I would say mm. a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, me too, the class. Okay, next up we have these, these guys, and I'm saying these are coffee biscuits. Oh. I'm guessing stop focusing on Craig's big head. Anyway, they look like that. Thanks. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, they oh. like the coffee. Mmm. Mmm, I really like that. Um, crunchy biscuits topped with a thick coffee flavoured glaze made with 100% Arabica coffee. Mmm. They do too. That's funny we had two coffee things back to back. Oh yeah. Another 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, they're good. Okay, these are called smoogia, smoogia tets, smoogia oh, teas. Oh, shit, take that one, I think I broke, I broke the one. Oh, they're like the new smarty things we have over the UK. Oh, damn it. They're good. Oh, mine's broken, for God's sake. Hmm. They're crumbly. Kind of fun. A bit more chocolate we look on this. So they're called smoogia's and UFOs. Tasty biscuits with a chocolate layer on top and then sprinkled with some coloured chocolate pieces. Mm. So I don't know what kind of biscuit it is. What do you they have that artificial sweetness of like kid stuff. Like five. I'd say six. So now we have some croaky crisps. These are bolognese flavour. Oh, interesting. I don't know. But they're really nice. Oh. Oh, they're lovely. Okay, the description says Crunchy and airy potato crisps that are a classic. Your box can include smoky paprika or bolognese. It doesn't taste like bolognese in the slightest, but they're nice. Mm -hmm. Really nice flavour. Like I picked those up. Mm, yeah. I'd really eat out of 10 for me. It's like mustardy. Mm -hmm. like, almost like a Worcester sauce mustard combination. They're good. What do you eat it? Nine. Next up we have these. It literally just looked like humbug sweets or what are you calling them? <gasps> oh my goodness! Look like this. They're cinnamon. Oh no, got it? Yeah, I can taste it. They are amazing. I'm going to love these. Craig's going to hate them. Sweets made of whipped cream and cinnamon. Enjoy these creamy tasting sweets that are shaped like small pillows. <laughs> I don't like cinnamon. I don't like ginger and I don't like cinnamon for the same reasons. They are so good and they are like little pillows. Oh my gosh, why did I not find these when I was over there? Mmm. I'm going to be keeping these for all week. Again, I can't make those because I don't like cinnamon at all. Ten out of ten. Next up is Prince Kick and Chalk. Kick and Chalk? Kick and Chalk. Oh, Kick and Chalk, sorry. Okay, you open that. Oh no, we're not looking at the thing. No, we'll open that. It. It, sounds, it feels like a Swiss roll. Oh. oh no, it looks like a Twinkie. Oh, it's so cute. 
Then you better that. But show it to the camera first, will it? There's only 20. Huh? Did you get, did you get some film on that side, yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't want to eat it before you have a problem. Mmm. These were there, it's in a different packaging. Oh. A surprising combination of a deliciously soft cake with white chocolate pieces? Yeah, that's what it was, white chocolate. Was it? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I'd even give that a 10. That with three cup of tea at night, mm. chilling, watching my shows. Okay, next up we have King! Wow. Peppermint. I guess these are just like, you know that, what do you call them? Trevor? Trebo or something, yeah. Trevor? <laughs> Trevor mints? It is Trevor. I don't know if you can see it, they just look like mints with the word king on them. Oh, very posh. Wow, they're hard on the thought, holy crap. Well, why do you need two? I don't know, I have no... Mm. Good for indigestion. <laughs> just standard mints. Yep. I mean, do you use it bad for that? 10 out of 10 if no, I No, but at the same time, I could just get a pack of pools. I mean... But do these look nicer? They look like, like 1950s style packaging. You can mind, like... Which pleases me. You can imagine like don't. a wee granny in the Netherlands going to church with those. Jesus. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Coming out of her crew. <laughs> giving them around the church. <laughs> we could. <laughs> yes, you could. Okay, I get that. Okay, next up is the classic, classic Dutch snack. Stroopwafel! Is that how you say it? It is Stroopwafel. We well, now you know you're meant to put these on top of your cup. And actually, when we went to Amsterdam and went to the Stroopwafel place where you make them, or mm. like she makes them, they are a lot different to the ones we get in the UK. Yeah. We have like a bad version of them. Like a cheap version. Yeah. Oh, I miss these little guys. Oh, no. oh look at that oh, caramel. Just put them on your cup. Uh -huh. mm. Sorry, I don't think I'm talking about them They are very good. Soft toasted waffle filled with sweet caramel. It has been a favourite snack among the Dutch for decades. Mm. Yeah. What is interesting though is you don't mind the cinnamon in that. What? <laughs> the cinnamon in that? Oh, you don't taste so. it. No. Well, maybe just because I love cinnamon I can tell. There's definitely some spice in it. There is, but it's like the third last ingredient. And it looks it. Oh, oh it's a cinnamon then. Yeah, I, I must oh, have wow. some good cinnamon. Good cinnamon, cinnamon. cinnamon. Good cinnamon radar. Good cinnamon radar. <laughs> so up next we have mm. chocomel. We didn't actually have this, but I saw it everywhere. That's I'm assuming it's a chocolate drink. Chocolate milk drink, I'm going a bit. It just looks like this, guys. Leave the rest in there. Mm. It's just like, ooh, chocolate milk drink. But oh. quite rich. Mm. Let's read what it is. It has been the chocolate milk drink of choice in the Netherlands for the over 80 years. This tasty drink can be enjoyed hot or cold. How would you eat it though? Just stick it in the microwave. <laughs> Hope I haven't forgot to rate anything. Did we forget to rate the strip waffle though? I don't know. Anyway, I rate strip waffles 10 out of 10. Yeah. That's good. I rate that 8 and mm, I'm 7. Seven. Seven. I'm blown away. I rate that good ten. Now we're doing Padache Joppy. So it's potato something, I guess. And there's a brand there called Joppy, so Joppy must be a brand of its own. Oh I'm, God, so I'm gonna guess what I think this is, okay? I'm gonna say I think oh, it's is it chips and mayo? Chips and mayo or chips and mustard. Chips and mustard yeah. Oh no wait, what's that sauce they have? Have we tried? Oh Freak sauce we had at McDonald's. I don't know. That's what it is. It kind of smells like pickles. Oh, I love it. It's kind of like a gherkin. Mm -hmm. It is that stuff. Yep. Are they good? Okay, so Lay's Choppy Sauce Flavoured Crisps. 
Joby sauce is onion and curry based and available in fast food restaurants in the Netherlands. That's the stuff we got in the, in the McDonald's in the airport. Oh, I love these. Yeah. Mmm. Gosh, I give those a 10 out of 10. Up next is my favourite chocolate mm. from the Netherlands. We have two names. I fell in love with this. I think it's our favourite chocolate point blank. Or you can't get it in some shops here, like Sainsbury's, but it's very hard to get, especially for us, because we live in a really small town in Northern Ireland and just shops are a bit rubbish. Oh, it's kind of broken. And like got sun dyed. Oh no. Okay, well it It's kind obviously of... been packaged. It's obviously been uh, stored in like cold temperatures or something. Yeah, it's installed somewhere in the refrigerator, I think. There's nothing wrong with it. Just looks looks like crap. <laughs> what flavour did we get? Just the milk chocolate one. Yeah, an incredible tasty milk chocolate. Mm. You might get the caramel sea salt var variation. That's what that one was. Mm. Mm. Like we brought some of this home with us, and it was literally gone the next day. Yeah, it didn't last long. That's well good. Plus, I like that packaging too. Yeah, they're probably going to spoil it. still in paper and stuff, is, I don't know. What do you read it? Some old school about our oh, 10s class. 10 for me too. Mm. If anyone wants to send me a year's supply of Tony's chocolate on me, I wouldn't say no. Next up we have, look at the little guy in the front. Looks so weird, isn't it? We Chester. have these. And these are called Kenter Chocolate. Or, or Kenetto, is it? I don't know. Let's just see what they are. Oh, they're a little ice triangle, isn't it? Like funny packaging, isn't it? It's like this is definitely aimed at kids. 100%. So they just look like this. They literally just are, I think, white chocolate sticks. Mmm. Mmm. White chocolate pop and candy. It, it basically, that is what you said. White chocolate sticks filled with popping rocks which crackle in your mouth. The white chocolate actually does taste like our milky bar. Are oh, they okay? Yeah, they're fine. What do you read it? Yeah, they're six. I was going to say six just because like, I prefer like milk chocolate, but it's fun. Next up is Napoleon. Napoleon Sweets, I think they're called. Jesus. Oh, what have I done? I think they're sure, but inside, so just warning you. These are Napoleon Framboos. Hard raspberry flavoured candy with extra sweet raspberry powder in the center. Honey, that's really bad that you can't like that. Honey. Time is money. Mmm, <laughs> they're nice. I mean, they're fine. I just wouldn't pick that type of sweet. No, I'd pick the five. The cinnamon ones are way better. Oh no. Yeah, five out of ten for me too. Up next is what, I think you call them wonkles. Wonkles? But they're wonkles. Oh. There's no, there's no end. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if that's right. But yeah, these. Yeah. Happy Ha 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 I mean, don't taste like anything. They do, they're just look very heavily flavoured. So now we have, whatever this is, some chocolate. But it's like coffee flavoured. I think it says Romelu Lukaku's favourite, as we picture of him. Which if you don't know, he's a footballer, but he plays for Belgium. But that's his favourite, and it's a hole in chocolate, but he's, that's his favourite chocolate. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, it's a good night. The, over in uh, the Netherlands, they do their chocolate good. Like, it's good chunky bars. <laughs> good chunky bars, hey. Oh, it's got filling in it. Is there elephants on the front? Wow, and it's got a good ratio of filling. Mmm. Oh, oh it's praline. It's like Ferrero Rocher. Oh, my God. That is the business. A tasty milk chocolate bar with praline filling. This bar is a great treat for every chocolate lover. I'd agree. Mmm. No, we ended with a good one. What there. do you rate that? Oh, 10, that's amazing. 10. 10. It's very ten. sweet though, because so I think if you rate a full bar, that would make your teeth hurt. Okay, guys, so like in the other video, we have rated the snacks in our top three. So I've kind of found it hard to rate them. So in joint third place, we have my 
cinnamon sweets that I've been watching on and Tony's chocolate only because you know I had it quit that summer. Number two for me would be these Lay's crisps. And my number one, which surprised me that it wasn't Tony's, is this chocolate bar. That was just next level, wasn't yeah. it? So yeah, that's my top three. No, my top three, well, two of them we've already heard. So that's number three, the the favourite bar of a Belgian footballer. The brilliant. And then second is those little what are they called? Oh. Pop chairs or something, the little coffee flavoured hard sweets. That's not one of focus. Because why would focus? And then number one are the um whatever the hell they're called. Okay guys, so it was really cool to oh, try the box from the Netherlands. I will leave a little link in my description box so that you guys can go check out Snack Surprise. They are a company that sends you snacks from different countries every month. It's a pretty cool thing to try out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video now. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Craig's going to start eating again, even though I've warned him not to. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks for watching. We're off to finish all our snacks from the Netherlands. No. No. <laughs> But yeah, love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.